we're going hello boys and girls nice to see you again and talk to you so i've just been messaging mrs clough about an idea i had and that idea is to start doing quizzes with you all so i'm going to do an easier quiz and i shall do a trickier quiz a bit later for you bigger people in school so our easier quiz today is all about Roald Dahl storybooks. So if you have a piece of paper somewhere, if you get a piece of paper and a pen, I have 10 questions for you. So you can either answer the questions by shouting at me on your telly or mummy and daddy's phone or whatever you're looking at me on, or Find a piece of paper and write down a one, two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because I have ten questions all about Roald Dahl storybooks for you. So, question number one. What is the BFG? Okay, so number one. What is the BFG? And question number two, what does the letters BFG stand for? Okay, what do the letters BFG stand for? Question number three, what does the BFG keep in jars? Okay, so that's what does the BFG keep in all of his jars? Right, question number four. In Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, what is Charlie's surname? So surname is like his last name. What is Charlie's surname, his last name? Okay, another one about Charlie. Question number five, we're on now. Who owns the chocolate factory? In Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, who owns the chocolate factory? He's got a great name. Question number six, a different book now. In the Raoul Dahl story, which giant fruit did James sail in? Okay, number six, this is. In the Roald Dahl story, which giant fruit did James sail in? <laughs> you know, sorry, I've got Mr. Davies here doing silly faces at me. It's a bit mean. I wonder if he knows that answer. <coughs> do you know that answer, Mr. D? Yes, I do. Good. Right, question number seven. Another book of Roald Dahl's. What is the name of Matilda's teacher? So number seven, that one. What is the name of Matilda's teacher? Right, number eight. What are the names of the three farmers in the Fantastic Mr. Fox book? So number eight. What are the names of the three farmers in Fantastic Mr. Fox? Okay, and number nine. Another storybook of Roald Dahl's. Complete the title. Danny and the, okay, Danny and the, okay, oh no, number 10, question number 10, who illustrated Roald Dahl's books? Okay, so who illustrated Roald Dahl's books? And illustrate means who was the drawer, who drew all those gorgeous pictures in the Roald Dahl storybooks. Hmm. 
you know, think. Don't worry about spellings. That's a bit tricky to spell that one. Okay. Right, if you've got your answers, let's go for these answers. So, number one, what is the BFG? BFG is a giant. Well done. If you got that, give yourself a point. What does, or oh, this is number two, what does BFG stand for? So it's big, friendly, giant. Well done. Give yourself a tick if you got that. Right, number three. What does the BFG keep in jars? He keeps dreams. That's it. Well done. Right, number four. So in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, what is Charlie's name? You tell me. That's it. Bucket. Charlie Bucket. Well done. Right, number five. Who owns Char the Chocolate Factory? In Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, who owns the Chocolate Factory? Of course it is. Well done. Yeah, Willy Wonka. Well done. Right, number six. In the Roald Dahl story, which giant fruit does James sail in? And if you know the title, it is James and the Giant Peach. Well done, he sails in a giant peach, doesn't he? So peach was the answer there. Number seven. What is the name of Matilda's teacher? You tell me. That's it, yes. It's Miss Honey. Well done. Number eight. What are the names of the three farmers in Fantastic Mr Fox? So you've got Boggis, Bunce and Bean. Boggis, Bunce and Bean, they're the three farmers. So well done. Number nine was complete the title, Danny the Champion of the World. Well done. And number ten, who illustrated Roald Dahl's storybooks? And the illustrator is Quaqua Quinton Blake. That's it. Well done, everybody. That was rather fun. So, yeah, next time I shall talk to you and we'll do a another easy quiz. Maybe an animal quiz, maybe a fairy tale quiz, maybe a sports quiz. Something fun like that. So, take care. Nice to see you again. Bye.